to her, my servant whom I called from Islam to Christian. She has never heard of wow. you. She didn't know you were a Muslim. And then she told the lady, is he really a Muslim? Is he really a Muslim? Wow. And the lady here said, yes, he has tribal marks on his face and every she was describing it to him. Wow. And so this lady left her job in Atlanta and Googled the address wow. and used her GPS to find the church. She didn't know if the church was still in existence, if it changed location or whatever, but she came by faith. Yeah. And this lady came to the church and stood in the gap, and we prayed for her over the phone. Yes. And she had a powerful testimony. She, the Lord touched her yes. while we were praying for her, and she was able to sleep that night, which yes. she hadn't been able to do in a long time, mm -hmm. and get up with great strength the next day. Wow. And we still have, you know, communication with her, um, and we told them to send us pictures of what everything looked like before, because we know the Lord has a plan, yes. and what we saw are legs that look like elephant legs. Jesus. They were in such bad mm -hmm. position that... We saw into the church. Yeah, the lady said there were almost 20 doctors that were preparing mm -hmm. to do surgery on her to amputate them both. Mm. So that's part of why that scripture is so relevant. Yes. You know, the Lord uses people yes. to display his glory and yes. splendor in the earth. Amen. Father God bless you. Now, this, this has left, but even lift up, uh, up my faith to pray for healing and breakthrough. So wherever you are right now, I want you favor, healing, breakthrough, hope, salvation. We've already led you to accept Jesus. Now put your hand on any part of your body that you need healing. There's somebody grow in your stomach. You have problems with your stomach. I see like a woman that they grow in your stomach. That is like uh, a woman that is uh, getting like pregnant, like three months, four months pregnant. It's just like developing and growing gradually, uh, bit by bit. And uh, if you are not careful, the doctors will try to do surgery. But I see this in the spirit, and God is saying, whoa. And God is saying there's a woman on the line that needs divine surgery in your stomach to do, oh my God, I release fresh fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Ghost fire, I pray. And I release, I see angels doing surgery in your stomach. Even a woman is, or another woman is having surgery in your stomach about um, the, the hindrance against you getting pregnant. And you and your husband has been trusting God for babies for a long time. And I see the hand of God doing divine surgery tonight. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare healing. Healing and anointing for healing, anointing for favor, anointing for finances, new job. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's fresh fire, fresh anointing. Take it. Take it now. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your life is changing. Favor is taking place. Breakthrough is coming. Oh, God is taking you from the waiting list. And he's putting you on the favor list. And your past will not be part of the conversation. And never again will your past be a hindrance. Will your past uh, be an obstacle or a mountain against where God is taking you. In the name of Jesus, I release this favor, this healing anointing. Favor for open doors, wherever you go, God will give you precious treatment like extra. You will be the poor first above all, above your competitors. Even God will shield you with favor as like a shield, divine protection. I pray for open doors. I see somebody. Miraculously, I take it. I don't know where you're going, but I see an angel of the Lord holding an air ticket, and the Lord says, somebody, God is about to open doors, and uh, you are about to travel this year with free air ticket, and that will launch what you've been trusting God for. That will launch your destiny. God is unlocking your destiny with free ticket to take trips, and you're about to travel.
Bible and I see an angel of the Lord holding a ticket for you to travel, fly by airplane, in an airplane. Amen? First class. God is doing it. It's going to happen. God has done it. Oh my God. Somebody get ready. In Ghana, when I got my visa, I didn't have money for ticket. God favored me. Somebody bought me an air ticket. And I pray, oh my God. I, I had a call Friday and I was told you'll be taking off. You'll be going to America on, uh, on Sunday morning. And I couldn't even go back to the place to say bye-bye to my mother. Amen. <laughs> when Esther was chosen, he couldn't, she couldn't even have time to go back. When, oh my God, Leka Robo Shokoroba, when Joseph was taken from the dungeon, he didn't go back. When Ruth was chosen, he didn't go, she didn't go back to Moab anymore. Hallelujah. Leka Robo Shokoroba. I see sudden shift, like trying to say, pardon shift. Like you're going to be, uh, God will be going to cut up for you. You'll be straight and released. Never is straight. Sometimes you do a little work. When the door opens, sometimes you have to stay all night long writing your life profile. Now I've been writing my life profile. They want, they want the information on Daystar, their website, uh, TV guide, everything. They send all this list. They want professional picture that they will put on their website. They want this. They want that. They want a logo, a new logo for even the ministry and a different one for the television ministry. And the things that I never experienced or done, now I've been, I've been stretched. And we've been filming, I'm filming, I'm filming, editing, going back and forth and learning how to do F. TPs, closed captioning, and all that. But it's a good thing. Sometimes you'll be straight when God opens the doors. But tonight I have come to announce to somebody, straight, the Bible says, Elisha the prophet, straight, and the dead boy sneezed seven times and came back to life. Now seven times, seven blessing partners, I pray favor over your life. I pray favor over your prayer request. Your prayer needs, I pray, may the hand of God, the favor of God, bless it and touch your body, even your hands, whatever you touch, be a blessing, wherever you put your feet, God is giving you the land, he favored Joshua, I said, wherever you put your feet, I will give you the land, I will give you the land, God is granting favor, I hear the spirit of the Lord and tell my people, God, is granting favor. Amen. Even Jesus Christ, the Son of God, needed favor in order to accomplish and finish his earthly, earthly duty, uh, mission, and calling. Amen. And the Bible says he grew in favor, in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and with men. I pray favor with God and with men over your life. When you gain God's favor automatically, you are catapult to gain man's favor. I pray, may you gain favor before your boss, your new boss, your husband, your wife. Thank God I gain favor with my wife, Fana. Hallelujah. My African Fana, <laughs> did, did I get your favor? Uh, okay, let me come closer so they will hear you. Uh, do I get your favor? Yes. Uh-huh, good. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. So I pray favor in your marriage. Favor in your workplace, your job place. It is favor for your education. When you have favor in your education, you will see God opening doors. You will see scholarships, promotion. Oh, I pray for promotion. Esther was promoted the first day that eunuch saw him, uh, saw her. The eunuch saw her and gave her seven, so, oh my God, mate. They have uh, treatments were given right away, crazy food, and uh, a special place. Esther was not part of all the girls, the best of the best. Even before the king even chose her, 12 months ahead of time, she was being served by seven girls. 
and it, uh, in the palace, there's a special part of the harem that uh, was not part of the affair and where he was supposed to put everybody. Esther had a special preferential treatment from heaven. Oh, I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, get ready. It's your season to excel, to be preferred, to be favored. Uh, it's your season for financial favor. Oh, my God. Le carobo chocolo ma tehande. Le caroma de le masa carobo choco. It is your season, somebody. Get ready. Get ready. Your past will not be part of the new conversation that is coming. Your credit card. Oh, my God. Your credit will not be part of the conversation. What you have and what you don't have. Your past mistakes. Your past hurts. The abuse you went through, the rejection you went through, the denials you went through, verbal abuse, whatever you have gone through, your past will not be part of the conversation. You are about to celebrate your new season. You are about to rejoice and celebrate what God is about to do. I'm a man of God and I'm speaking this to you because the Lord gave me the message that he's taking you from the waiting list to the favor list. And now God is saying your anointing will not be work because he will connect your anointing with favor that you don't have to work to, to open doors for yourself. Amen? He will automatically grant you favor. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over your life. Amen. There's one more prayer. I, want, I will pray before we leave the line, but I want to do this announcement very quick. My wife has uh, announced it a little bit, but I want to uh, announce it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now it is time to, um, uh, oh my God.